After New York, what happens? Well, after New York, I went back to Nova Scotia. Because one day I just said to myself, well, number one, uh, they told me at, at Circle, John called me in one day and said, Walter, listen, you got to go out and start auditioning. You know, he said, you can, you can come back here and have classes anytime you want, but you really should be on the boards, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so I go down and I check out uh, Negro Ensemble Theater because they're doing all that magnificent stuff, <sighs> you know. Uh, and this is the days that, um, uh, 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 well, their iconic piece of uh, uh, the blacks is still going, and uh, uh, that original cast, the who's who of everybody who became a black artist, mm -hmm. from uh, Cicely Tyson and Maya Angelou and Godfrey Cambridge and uh, uh, James Earl Jones, uh, oh, they were all in this cast. They're mm -hmm. all young actors. You know, so I take all these things out and then I find that the moment that I leave the theater and enter into the uh, workforce there, my deferment status is taken away. Hmm. Because, you know, uh, it was a time when uh, uh, you could be drafted and that meant anybody who was there. The fact that I was Canadian Didn't was immaterial. Mm -hmm. I would be working in America. I could be drafted and I, they moved me from what, what, uh, one F to A1. I said, goodbye. Right. Well, if I'm going to fight for anybody, I'd be fighting for Apple. No, 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 no. <laughs> we go that foolishness.